Oh my god, it looks so tan in this lighting. I could get used to this. Can this just like follow me around now? Like, that'd be cool. That would be cool. What am I doing? Hi guys, so today I decided to do my December favorites. I haven't done a favorites video before, so this is like my first my first go at it. Um, I did do my fall favorites, so but I feel like this is gonna be like more down and dirty. <laughs> what? So I'm gonna be telling you guys my favorite makeup products of December as well as I have um, some a book um, my favorite music and hair care of December not like of all time because I'll be like ooh that'd take a while okay anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna start with hair um, as many of you can probably tell, I do bleach my hair. <laughs> I was not born with this, although that would be pretty awesome and really easy to keep up. But no, I am a natural brunette. I was born blonde, then it got darker, darker. I dyed it really dark brown, and then I went to blonde, which took forever to make sure my hair did not fall out. <sighs> it did. Thank God. And I think I really owe it to these products to keep my hair, you know, going and staying in. I mean, on my head. So, <laughs> so first I have um, my purple shampoo. And th what this does is it brightens the hair. Um, if I didn't use this, it would be like a dark yellow. And what I wanted, I wanted like a kind of like an ashy, light, white, blonde, platinum blonde, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I usually use this shampoo whenever I shower and it just brightens it up. Sometimes it turns my hair purple so I have to go in with my other shampoo to kind of like get rid of those purple because I like the purple, I do, I do, I feel it, but <laughs> um, it's just sometimes I don't want it. So. That's why I go in with another shampoo to just like wash it out. Sometimes I mix the two because it can be intense. But this is what really gets my hair to stay. This like platinum white blonde color that I like. As you can see though, I need to like redo my hair roots soon. It's almost that time. <laughs> okay, and this is like... If I... If my... um style my hair stylist did not my hairstylist like yeah I have personal hairstylist <laughs> no um but anyway um if my person didn't use this I'm pretty sure my hair would be a lot in worse condition than what it is now because I did go from a very dark brown to this the salon I go to they use Olaplex and they like squirt some in with that bleach and that's and they put on your hair and it's supposed to kind of like protect it and make sure it doesn't just like fall off once you um, wash it away. And then you also get a take home little bottle like this if they do use that and you just like put it in your hair before anything else once, right when you get in the shower and you leave it on for like 10 minutes. I try to do 10 minutes, sometimes I do less because that's a long time. <laughs> um, and it's just supposed to make sure your hair stays in good condition and you're not losing a bunch of hair, you're not getting a bunch of more split ends and you know, all that jazz and like, <laughs> I would really suggest going to a salon that like believes in this stuff because I was so sure I would be like, have really thin hair, but it's still thick, so, I mean, it's not thick, but it just has a lot of it. Let's not get into detail here. <laughs> um, so this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I've used this in a couple of videos so far, and I use it, like, every day, even if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just put it on, because it has such a beautiful shine to it. I mean, like, <laughs> I was really intense just there. Did you, did you see that? Did you feel me right there? Hmm? Yeah, 
That's how intense it is. <laughs> but um, this stuff is amazing. I love it. I love it so much. I'm out of my Tasha Loomis Dewy Skin Mist. I don't even know if I want to buy it again because it did, it did kind of break me out a little bit. Um, but this doesn't and this is just as good in my opinion. I am absolutely in love with it. I don't know if it actually makes your foundation stay longer. I haven't really noticed that. I just like the shine it gives me before I put on my foundation. Like, it really helps with that dewy look that's kind of in right now. So, loveliness would suggest it 100%. <laughs> um, this is the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. And this is in the color N10 from my personal skin color. I love this foundation so much. Like, I have used this in a lot of videos so far, but I haven't really gone into detail why I really like it or why I think it's so amazing. But, um, if you have dry skin or you live somewhere that's really dry and you have, like, trouble getting some more life back into your skin, I would definitely suggest this. This is amazing. It blends out so well. Um... And it just gives you that really beautiful, like, dewy finish in your skin without making you look oily. I, I just, I could rave about this, like, for years. I honestly could. But, um, this is definitely my favorite one. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing a different one. Um, but I usually go back to this. I also have my, um... Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick that I've used, I think maybe in the last video or something. I've been kind of going between those, except I would say about that one is it doesn't stay as long as this one. Like, I'll like look in the mirror at the end of the day and I'll have like red spots kind of showing. But this one, it just sticks. Like, it lasts forever, full coverage, dewy finish, just amazing. <laughs> and it doesn't make me look orange, which is another plus because that is very hard to find with pale skin. <laughs> Although I do look really tan in this lighting. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying this right now. <laughs> um, kind of going with foundation, I just got the Josie Maron 100% Pure Argan Oil. Um, I think it's just like a tiny little size. But I got it for Christmas, and I've really been enjoying putting this on before bed and mixing it with my foundation to give that extra dewy look. Um, it makes it easier to blend out. My foundation and it also makes my skin very moisturized and when I before I go to bed it has not broken me out which is another plus so I have also been doing this it's just kind of like I haven't like I'm not sure if I love it yet but it's definitely a big like for me you know what I mean <laughs> like I'll have to keep using this but I have been enjoying it so far I think it makes foundation easier to blend out really pretty finish in the skin and very moisturizing, which is all pluses here. Uh, I picked up some NYX products because I think NYX is really good and it has a good price to it, which I love. And I heard um, about the NYX liquid, liquid suede, I think Jocelyn Hill used it in her last video, and or she talked about it at least. Maybe it was Snapchat. Not sure. but. Um, so I picked this up in the color, oh, it doesn't say the color, oh, Cherry Skies. Yeah, Cherry Skies, um, which it's like a dark red, and I have been loving it. Like, I wore it, like, I got it yesterday, and when I went home, just to get into, like, pajamas and stuff and laser around the house, and I put this on because I just loved it so much. The color is, like, a beautiful dark red, and I did not think it would look good on my skin color, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um... It's a liquid, liquid lipstick, so it doesn't really get on your... Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't about to say it doesn't get on your teeth easily and, like, have it on my teeth. It's, that would be embarrassing. But, um, it does not get on your teeth easily. Easily. It doesn't at all. It's a liquid lipstick. Um, it does dry out your lips, like, all liquid lipsticks, but I... I really like them anyway. Like, I don't like that effect, but... The fact that I don't have to worry about my teeth all day is a definite plus. I will say though, it did give me belt holdups. If anyone knows what I mean by that, I mean like the inside of your lips kind of like it goes away. So you can kind of see like a line. Um, but I still 
think this color is amazing. I think the price is amazing and I think that liquid lipsticks are amazing. So <laughs> I just had to talk about this and I'm wearing it right now if you didn't know already. Um, so that's all I gotta say about that one. Oh, and I just found out it's cruelty, cruelty free, so another plus. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stick with lip. Uh, lip colors right now. Um, this is a Marc Jacobs um, li liquid lipstick. No, it's a lip gloss. <laughs> Marc Jacobs lip gloss and the color Moon Glow. And there's just this really pretty pale pink that I have been wearing, I think, almost every day if I'm not wearing like a more dramatic lip color. It's It smells amazing, it looks amazing, it's like the perfect pale pink in my opinion, perfect. Um, the formula is amazing. It's like, and it's not too sticky. You know like how some lip glosses can be like super sticky and it's just like, you don't even want like, <laughs> I don't even know how to put it into words right now. But, um, yeah, so, like, everything about this, I think, is just perfect. I think I might have to get some more on different colors, but this color is pretty bomb. So, like, I'm scared to try some others. Um, the reason I got this was because I've been loving the Boxum, um, lip, I think this is, like, a lip plumper, a lip gloss, in the color White Russian. I've been loving this, but, um, it's been snowy and cold outside, and... <laughs> If you guys have this one or you have something like the same formula as this or box some lip gloss, you'll know that like if you put this on and go into cold weather, it's like so intense. You just like you're pretty, you're positive that your lips are blue. That's how intense it is. So I picked the Marc Jacobs one up because um, I wanted something that I liked this pale pink a lot. I love how it looks in the summer, but it was just too intense. I had to go find another one and this one is amazing. Although I will say about this one, this is like my second tube and I just got it during the summer. I love this. I can't wait till it's like warm enough to wear it again. I mean, I just went to like Mexico and I wore it like every day. I was like, yes, I love this. <laughs> but yes, that's all I can say about those. <laughs> okay, moving on. Alright, so this is another Christmas gift and this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um... I wasn't that, like, I love my e.l.f. Um, eyelid primers so much. I think they're amazing for their price. I think it's like $1, $3, something like that. But I will say, when I put this on and, like, didn't put my eyeshadow on, I was like, wow. <laughs> this makes your eyeshadows look amazing. Like, straight up. It's, it just makes the color show up so well on your eyes and there's no creasing. It's, um, it's a beautiful base for your eyeshadows, that's what I'm going to say. Um, like, I still love the e.l.f. ones, but after using this one, I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, let's step back a bit, Elena, and we should probably start investing some more money into things like this, because your eyeshadows are looking bomb right now. <laughs> okay, this was probably my favorite Christmas gift that I got because it is amazing. It is beautiful. It is so beautiful. So I live in brief by Champagne Pop by Becca, but it is like a gold, and so on my pale skin color, it's just, it can be a little too much, especially if I'm not like looking for that summery glow that like I like for summer, and my skin is looking even more pale in the winter. I mean, it's like, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's so pretty, but um, I know for like people as pale as me, it can be a little too much. So this is where this comes in. This is Becca's um, Pearl um, Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this highlight is bomb. I'm not wearing it right now, I actually did go with Champagne Pop because I wanted a more gold look today, but... I love this. It is so beautiful. If you're pale, get this right now because this is like the most amazing product I have right now. It is beautiful finish. It's the perfect highlight for pale skin. It's not that white on your skin, don't worry. It's not, I just put a lot on. Um, I don't know if, oh yeah. See, look at that. Could you die? I didn't even think that would show up. <laughs> 
but it did. And I'm like amazed. I'm, I'm like falling in love with it all over again. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I would completely recommend this if you're pale and you're looking for a good highlight, get this. Like, you will not regret it. Pearl um, Becca Highlight. It's ball. Oh, I don't know what's happening. This is um, MAC Nylon. Jaslyn Hill uses it for like every, like every time she does a brow highlight or a inner corner highlight. I see why. It is amazing. It is so pretty. When I first opened it, I was like, I thought it was like a little more frosty because it's kind of like, it looks a little beige and yellowish. But it's like the perfect amount of frosty, but not too frosty. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see if you can see that. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> Again, this is not like a cheekbone highlight because it is so intense. You'll probably look a little like too much. But for a brow bone, well, a brow bone highlight and a inner corner highlight, it's just bomb. It like get attention to your eyes straight away. It's perfect. <laughs> it's honestly like so perfect. I'm gonna suggest a book and some music that I like because I think that's also fun to do for favorites videos. I've actually had this book for a while now, um, and I just want to. So for people who might be like really um, an, like an introvert, really shy, really anxious, very, you know, it's just hard for them to be confident with other people, be outgoing, those people, this is, this is for you. <laughs> um, because I struggled with um, social anxiety and I've been called shy my whole life, I'm, def I'm a definite introvert as well. It's not, it's not just that that's holding me back. I'm just also an introvert. Um, this is a book, Quiet, by Susan Cain. And it's um, the power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. And this kind of like made me tear up at one point. I'm just going to say it because it was like so spot on. And it just like helped me learn a lot more about who I am as a person. And why I um, feel certain ways. Why I do certain things. So if you are... Um, like everything I just said, then I would definitely maybe um, find this book, maybe read the back of it, try to check it out of the library because I think it actually is really helpful and so I just wanted to point this out. It's also really interesting if you're into um, books that really get you thinking, so I just wanted to point that one out. <laughs> and then for music, I just wanted to this is gonna sound weird because it sounds weird to me still. So Panic at the Disco has a new album. Actually, I don't know if their album is actually out yet. It might just be their sing signal. Yeah, it's not gonna come out till January 15th. But their new album, Death of Bachelor, they've been like dropping songs and I keep saying like I'm I'm probably not gonna buy the album like these songs are good though but like every time they drop a new song I'm just like bye bye so like I'm probably gonna buy the whole album by the time it comes out just because I'm just like yes <laughs> but it's just kind of funny to me because like I used to listen to this like as a little dorky little preteen and so like it's interesting that they have like these new songs and I'm like I'm just like I'm all about it right now I'm just it's it's really bomb. Like I would definitely suggest go on iTunes and just listen to their new signals, and you're like you'll understand me. But if you did listen to them as a dorky, my cat just sat on me. <laughs> yes, you're my favorite too. Oh no, Keiko! This is Keiko. <laughs> She's like, don't look at me. Um. But yeah, I would definitely suggest going into iTunes and just checking their new songs out. And you'll understand. You'll understand where they're coming from. I'm not just being like a weird, like, little, not going back into his phase. Like, their new songs are pretty bomb. And I didn't think I would get back into them again. But yeah, it's bomb. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it for my favorites video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. <laughs> If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe, leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon with a new makeup tutorial. I'll probably be filming that in 
either tomorrow or the day after that. So just stay tuned and I hope you guys all had a wonderful New Year's. Um, if you're back in school, I feel for you and I hope it's all going good. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. She's, no, she's like, no, no, I'm not saying bye. Mm -mm. <laughs>